High School staff and welcome to the 2012-2013 Nevada High School Proficiency Exam Test Security Edition. So, um, you guys will watch this and hopefully it will give you some insight into how testing is done. Some things may have changed and some things of course didn't. Um, this of course is information from the state as well as the Clark County School District. School testing team members so that we can all speak on the same terms. The principals, testing coordinator would be myself, testing administrator would be the teachers that are giving the test, and testing proctors are the only ones who may be unlicensed and that would be uh, the teacher's aide. At least one licensed person must be present in the test room at all times and of course parents and guardians are not allowed to be present in the testing room. Test administrators attend the testing security and administration training at the school site. We will have another meeting after this. Uh, read the NDE and CCSC testing manuals, which we will sign off on. Administer the test to students using scripts in the testing administration manuals given through the day of testing. Verify the identity of each student when they come into testing and verify the eligibility of students, which I will do for you, but still, uh, please be alert while you are in the testing make sure students are taking the correct test. Test administrators sign out and sign in test booklets and answer documents to students, supervise students during tests, walk the room, act on any unusual activity, collect test booklets, writing prompts, answer documents, and scrap paper at the end of the testing session. And we'll review how that happens at Odyssey uh, a little later on in the presentation. Test proctors may be unlicensed. They would attend the school training as well, assess with supervision of students, assess by walk, assess, assist by walking the room, report unusual activity to the test administrator, assist with documentation, distribution, and collection, and walking students to the restroom in an emergency. IEP accommodations. Test administrators can read the math and science test to every student who have that accommodation in English only. Students can use calculators on the math test. It must be stipulated if they can use it on the science test. Uh, it also must be stipulated that they can use a calculator and it must be coincide with their disability. Uh, dictate multiple choice answers to the test administrator or proctor if it is stipulated on their um, testing accommodation sheet. Students cannot use any dictionaries uh, on any of the tests, and of course, accommodations must be written in their IEP. Um, the 504 students, the main thing, of course, is that they are not allowed to use calculators, so please do not pass out calculators to a 504 student. Some of them may type their responses in just as an IEP student, which means that they will probably be placed in an IEP room so that they're not typing with students that are writing. Uh, you can see some of their other accommodations, but of course the main one is please do not give them a dictionary or, um, or a calculator. Students that have um, a LEP accommodations who are ELL accommodated students, uh, they must have documentation. You cannot simply give them a translating dictionary because you feel for them, they need that on their documentation, which you'll find on the um, accommodation sheets in each of the classrooms. They are only allowed to use the dictionaries um, on the English, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on the science and math sections. They are not allowed to use it on any other section. And you guys can see a picture of our dictionaries there. And again, they are not allowed to use a calculator, so please don't hand those out. And you're not allowed to read directions to language. Um, the writing exams, again, nothing can be given in the native language. Um, you cannot give examples, you can't translate the prompts, uh, dictate to a, scri a scribe, or use any kind of dictionary. Okay, so if the test administrator reads the math or science test to any of these students, then of course we do need you to sign a confidentiality agreement. Um, and you cannot read the reading test to any student, obviously, when they aren't reading. Test booklets. Do not review the contents. Do not copy the contents. Do not take notes on the contents. Do not circulate materials to anyone. Do not take or grade the test. Do not test ineligible students. So, I think 
that pretty much explains all of it. Do not talk about the test. Do not read the test to students. Do not look at the test. Do not copy, take notes, grade or review the test. The testing environment should be, um, you know, free from any distractions. Please do not have loud conversations with your peers. Please do not staple incessantly while you're in there. We do get these complaints from parents that this, have, that this has been happening uh, in certain classrooms and they will bring it to my attention. And uh, if you could just try and keep it um, quiet. Uh, if somebody asks for help, you can just simply say, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to help you with that. I can't read it to you. No posters that provide guidance on tests, no materials on desks. Uh, graphing paper for math and science test only. And of course, we will have the generic grid style of tests, uh, of testing um, sheets. Next, test book security. Test administrators must log test booklet numbers given to students, log test book numbers received from the student, have students print full names on sign out logs, have students print full names on test booklets, return test booklets to the testing coordinator in numerical order and the answer sheets in alphabetical order and sign off when you do return them so that we do not have a gap in our um, handling of these booklets. Odyssey pickup procedures. Please at least arrive 15 minutes early. Uh, your sheet will say 30 because it is gives us a little bit more comfortable uh, gap. Check the names and test numbers with myself or Rosie to sign out your test. Uh, just do a double check on what um, we're giving to you. Tests are usually similar in color. If a student needs a science test and we have provided a reading test but they have already passed the reading, please send your partner or test proctor to switch the test out. This year we will be located in the boardroom. That's where you'll find us. And of course, cell phone collection. Cell phones are in the classroom and they must be collected before testing begins. You can do that after they sign in. Demand the phones. Please tell them off in your purse pants or backpack is still considered a testing violation. And please explain this to the student. Now how we do this at Odyssey is that we collect the phones and we have students use a post-it, write their name on that particular post-it. And then of course, if necessary, you can go ahead and put it in a bit of a baggie in case the post-its are not staying secure. Um, also, the next part of that is that we will have students sign in and you test the, you know, test in and out and you will double check these numbers with what you check out from us. Um, again, it's just another way for us to make sure that all of the testing is accurate. Before the test, each of the rooms should have tables with numbers on it or chairs if they are facing the, the computers. Uh, have the students sit, if they're signing up and they're at number one, have them sit in the chair or table with number one on it. And then that way it's very easy for us to figure out who is absent and who is present and um, eventually you'll see that you guys will be making those phone calls, one of the two of you in that room to find out where these students are at and you will take note on the box, the empty sign spot on that sheet. As far as testing supplies go, you can see the usual things from last year, post-its and highlighters and pencils. Now this year there will be the dictionary but it does say math and science or science and math only because those are the only tests that the children are to use those and only the students who have the accommodation. Whisper phones will also be found in there if students want to read the reading test out loud to themselves. That makes it a little bit quieter. And then, of course, with um, often students want to use a post-it to mark their answer sheet so that they stay on task and in the correct line. Um, stu each student is provided with at least two sheets of paper um, or two pencils and a sheet of paper. Graph paper, you may want to supply them with two sheets. Sometimes they do need more. Uh, but please use this to mark the spot where students will sit. It's a great way to show them not only the number, but also the paper. Uh, have the supply recharge the key of the day in those spots. Of course, graph paper for math tests. And then uh, two sheets of reading material or practice sheets for the reading test because they do have to write on both prompts. It is not an option to choose a prompt. Remember.
remember, they need to write prompt A on prompt A, prompt B on spot for prompt B. Read and follow the script in the test and administrator manuals. Give no extra assistance to students. Do not translate the test into another language. Do not review or edit writing samples of students. Collect all materials, including scratch paper, at the end of the test administration. Please prepare the room for the next testing session. Do not leave a test. Do not leave them in the room unguarded under any circumstances. Please always have somebody there to monitor all tests. Bathroom breaks. This has been getting a little crazy in the last few years. I have seen more students going to the restroom in between a testing uh, column. We really need to tighten this up and um, we really need to make sure that an emergency is an emergency, which means that my floor might be a mess if the, stu if the student stays, but please in your original instructions, Remind the students that they will have to sit there until the end of a column if they do not go to the restroom before they start testing. We only want emergencies uh, going to the restroom. We do not want students coming in and out of the, of the restroom. Um, it's just happening too often, so please don't let them do this. And finally, uh, remember the number one rule, do not leave the test. Of course, that includes do not leave them unattended. Uh, again, we'll have another meeting. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.